Alright guys, it's me, Nash, and my dad, Dave, and we were running the Everest 10 out on the rocks today, and we thought it needed a little bit more grip, so we will, we are going to be uh, cutting off these rubber pieces. Some of the logs. Uh, right here, these ones, the arrow type ones. Um, Give you a good look here at what the there actually looks like so you can kind of see there's some check mark ones in there not focusing very well but we're gonna leave Slash those check arch. mark ones I think those will work best for directional um, going both forwards and backwards um, the optimal optimal amount of traction for the tread that we're leaving uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut those out what are we using oh we we, we tried we decided yeah. the scissors wasn't quite strong enough it was working we're gonna go to some just We're some plain old dykes. These right here. Lighter cutters, dykes, whatever. Nice sharp <laughs> pair, brand new. Actually, they're a pair of mamas. They're pink. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's what we're gonna uh, use. We're just gonna cut out some of those lugs. We'll see you guys when when uh, we're done with it, and we'll show show you what it looks like. Might cut in a couple stuff. times in the process of it, show you what we're actually doing. But uh, yeah, we'll show you when we're done. Yeah. Awesome. See you later. All right, get started here. We're going to take off the tire. We started trying doing it with the tire on. Uh, struggling a little bit. I think it'll give us a little bit more room. We're just going to use a simple four-way for an RC car. Go ahead, Nash. Uh, all right. Uh, so you got to keep it nice and straight in order for it to Go the other way. work. And then... Let slow. me start it. It's kind of tight. Yeah. There you go. All right, you should be able to do it now, I think. Yep. Perfect. So we just... Keep on twisting, then it should come off with it, it should be in there. Then you can just take off the tire like that. And we're going to go ahead and just put that nut back onto the axle so we don't lose either the uh, hex or the nut itself. <coughs> and... We did already start cutting on this tire a little bit, so we'll just give you a quick look at what we're doing there. Um, uh, some of them aren't as much cut because we test tested the others. We tested about three other ones. Then we, we got a few. found one, and that's what we chose. So I'm just going to open her up a little bit in the middle there, see what happens. Yeah. All right. All right. See you in see a bit. You. All right, so... Pretty simple process that we got going on here. We're just squeezing the tire, just squeezing it down so that the lug is uh, popping out, sticking out a little bit. <coughs> just being careful not to cut fingers. Flip it over. Oh yeah. Be careful not to cut fingers or the main part of the tire. Just make sure you don't cut any yep, others. No, either. there you go. I go ahead. Don't, see I don't, if you can. I. I. Not strong enough. I don't think, I don't, I can't right. get it really too far, as far down. My dad is the only one that. All right, we'll get really in there. Good at doing this. So you just try to get it. That's as simple. Much, try to be, try to get the farthest down with it. Just chop it right off. <coughs> try to keep the, uh, all of it even so then it doesn't. Do another one real quick here while you're watching. Uh -huh. And then we'll cut it off. I got some Dairy Queen ice cream right here. Nice. So it's that simple. Oh. We just got a little box here that we're throwing all the pieces in so we don't make a huge the mess. tire mess. Good. And actually, Otherwise. I think I might move this little box over. Cut it on top of it. Makes it easier. All right, guys, we'll get back with you. All right, so guys, so here, here we are once again. So we're actually over half, half halfway, um, done. So you can with see one tire. <laughs> with one tire, you can see that there's lots kind of done, and then it starts to not be done. So. It's, uh, you can feel it. It really opened that up, and, uh, 
I feel like it's gonna have more grip. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, um, if not, we just have to get some new tires, I guess. Yeah. But uh, you never know unless you try. I think we'll try this, and then uh, we may cut the foams. See how that works. Soften up the tire a little bit, as well as <laughs> um, we may even try and run it without foams. See how that works as well. Yeah. Um, we're new to the rock crawling. Yes. Um, we are um, not new to the RC sport entirely. No. I've run no. nitros in the past, um, and he's got a small 118 scale. Yeah. Um, electric, and so this is the first rock crawler though, and we just picked up a 110 scale electric as well. So, um, yeah, so we're not new to it, but we're just learning about this. Uh huh. Anything else? I can't think of anything. All right, I think, uh, um, we'll, we'll see just, you when yeah, I'll show you it when it's done. All right, show you when the whole tire's done, and then we'll and then we'll just skip until the whole thing's done. Sure, all right.